If you read books, you will like this video. I'm going to show you tips and tricks how to use smart notes techniques and AI tools in order to remember more and understand better what you read. Before reading any book, I like to create a note for it. I use Workflow as my note-taking system, but what I'm going to show you will work with any note-taking tool that you use. Okay, I will use the book Hidden Potential by Adam Grant as an example. So I will set it up here like I would normally do. Okay, I will link the author. I like to note when I start it. And the next step is to add a list of chapters, which is surprisingly difficult to get from a Kindle book. So I use ChatGPT Plus for it. I'll open the Kindle app on my computer. I will look at the list of chapters. I will uh, take a screenshot of it. Then I will open ChatGPT. I will upload the screenshot and I will just tell it, uh, please, uh, uh, Rewrite this text in exact words like you see in the picture. And this is how I get it. Maybe there are simpler ways how to do it. If you know, please let me know. Okay. It messes up the chapter numbers. I'm still about to find the best prompt, so I will use it by adding the chapter numbers manually. Okay, and I'm ready to start reading. When I read, I take highlights. I use the uh, built-in highlight function on Kindle, as you can see here, for example. The good thing is that the highlights are, are synchronized between, uh, between the device and the computer. And at the end of each chapter, I'll stop, I'll go back to my notes, and I try to remember what I learned. And I try to uh, write the notes in my own words. Okay, uh, I'll have an example prepared for the first chapter for the prologue. And now the question is, why didn't I use the highlights? Or why didn't I use AI to get the main ideas? The reason for that is that there are numerous studies that show that if you write notes, uh, by remembering them, and if you formulate them in your own words, you will not only understand, but also remember them much better than just copy-pasting the text. So this is why I do it, and this is why I feel that's important. There is no shortcut for it. Of course, you can use AI to do that, but you will not learn. So this is what I do. Uh, what's written here are like a summary of the uh, most surprising and new ideas uh, that I learned from the author. Uh, what I also like to do is to add comments because some of those might be interesting or maybe have some other ideas or it reminds me of something. So I will uh, I will comments like that, for example. Okay, uh, I like to uh, like to highlight my own words, my own comments in different color, blue this time so that I distinguish that from the author's idea. Uh, what I also do in my comments as well is to uh, maybe link to some other books or other ideas that I read before, so that I'm building an interconnected system of uh, ideas and notes. This is how I do it, chapter by chapter, uh, through the whole book. And uh, when I finish, uh, what I like to do is to uh, add the highlights from the Kindle. There are two ways how to do it. Either you can connect the device to your computer and then download the text file and copy paste from the text file, or the method I use, I use the app Readwise and Obsidian to, to get those automatically. That will be for another video. I will show you an example what I mean. Okay, so I will just add uh, the, the direct quote uh, of, uh, from the book here, for example. I like to choose different color, so I know it's a direct quote. quote. Uh, why is that important? Uh, it has uh, several advantages. One of them is uh, if there is some like a technical or number heavy part, I don't have to remember or rewrite everything. 
And the second, uh, when I would, when I later maybe in a year I would like to get back to it, uh, I can easily find this part in the book. So for example, oh, this is an interesting thought. So I'll just copy paste maybe the first sentence. I will open the Kindle app. I will click search, and this is an easy way how to find uh, how to find this uh, highlight. But I'm actually thinking about skipping this step. I'm thinking maybe this is maybe too much, maybe this is unnecessary, because uh, uh, it also uh, reduces my motivation to write really good notes. So what I'm thinking for the next book is I will not uh, actually uh, copy uh, the highlights like that. I will just keep my own notes and my own comments. Uh, the way how I, do, how I do highlights with physical books is actually the same like uh, on uh, Kindle. So let me show you. If I have a book like that, when I read it, uh, I like to uh, I like to flip uh, fold the corner of any interesting thing, and I would actually highlight uh, the part with a highlighter, okay, or with a pen. So same approach for physical books. There are more ways how to use AI to learn. What I like to use uh, is to um, use AI as a discussion partner. And for that, you can use even ChatGPT3, the free version. So for example, I have this uh, an interesting thought of the author, but I think it uh, sounds suspiciously good. So I'll look, see, okay, what are the counter arguments? What are the weak points of that? So once again, I will go back to uh, ChatGPT and I will just copy paste the, the highlight and I say like, hey, please critique this statement about the hidden potential and uh, uh, what could be the possible weak points. And uh, that will help me uh, to think about it more and then the later I will maybe add more comments on that or sometimes I even copy paste what uh, ChatGPT uh, gave me. So that is quite interesting use, uh, how you can actually learn and uh, get better in understanding with AI. Uh, so this is how I use AI. Uh, there is one more very interesting way how I used AI in the past, and this was for another book, which is uh, which is by Derek Sivers. It's called How to Live, and I didn't get this book for, through Amazon, but uh, through Derek directly uh, via PDF, and uh, that gave me a new opportunity. Uh, I can load the PDF directly to ChatGPT. Okay, so I will take the PDF. Uh, which has several hundred pages. I'll just put it here and I will ask like, hey, please uh, list the chapters, but also give me, uh, for each chapter, give me uh, one or two or three interesting questions to think about, you know, some thought-provoking question. So now in the few seconds, as you will see right now, ChatGPT will actually read the book, you know, list the chapters and then give me thought-provoking questions which I then copy to my notes and try to uh, answer it when I'm reviewing the book after I read that, which uh, makes me smarter, makes me remember more, makes me understand more, and I enjoy the process, and uh, this is why I do that. Okay, here you can see the thought-provoking questions by ChatGPT. So, this is my system. If you have your own hacks, tips and tricks, or if you have questions about anything, feel free to contact me, feel free to comment below. Uh, few things to say about uh, this system that I just showed you. Uh, it's an ideal state. Uh, I don't do it uh, like exactly like that for every book I read. You know, I only do it to that extent to, uh, to the most important book that are important for my job or that are very, very, uh, very important to me for any other reason. Because you might think, yes, but that will take you more time to uh, do notes in a such a rigorous way than to actually read a book. And uh, yes, that is true. Sometimes I spend more time uh, in the notes than in the book. And it's definitely worth it. Okay, so as I said, uh, for some books, I don't do it that much, but I always try to do uh, uh, notes in my own words to learn and uh, remember. My system is also not the same uh, every time. It changes, uh, it evolves. With, with every book I read, I try to improve it. So that's how, I, that's how I would like to hear from you and your suggestions. Okay, 
if you want, you can watch my next video, which is about how I actually built my second brain, how I use my Zettelkasten system to actually interconnect the ideas, because this is not, not where it ends, this is where it starts. Now I take these ideas and try to, uh, try to uh, build something more of it. So book notes is the first step, the digital brain is the second step, and for that I have another video which I will link here uh, on, on the platform. So thank you very much and see you next time.